Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I'm Game Turtle, and I uh, I went ahead and I think I fixed part of the border, so there's not as much black space around the around the edges of the video. So I hope that gives some higher quality. I'm sorry it took so long to even realize that it was like that. I had used the Snap to feature of my recording software to snap the edges to it but that still left a lot of black space so I went ahead and pulled it further than the edge to fix it but um, I went ahead and I put some people in some areas uh, I think Elsa and I was the only one that wasn't there from the end of the last video but last time we got our new Jerbear Jerbear the return of since Jerber was a uh, uh, a mistake of mine. We also got an abomination, and I have not named him yet. And I'm trying to think of what, uh, who I should name him after. So I guess I'll I'll just go ahead and name him after myself. <sighs> I personally don't like the abomination, so that's fine because we won't uh, see much of him anyways. We are short on people though. Lots of people are either getting treated or stuff like that. So we're gonna have to uh, it, like experiment a little bit with what we got because I want to take people I don't really care for the highwaymen but we can work around that I think we have enough positions to fill and Roach will have to be our dedicated healer which the only problem with that is he's already got some stress and he uh, his heal causes bleed so that's a problem our biggest issue is that we need deeds or no not deeds portraits because I'd like to upgrade the guild so we can start leveling up the um, abilities here the skill ranks and we need three more uh, portraits and three more crests so that's kind of what we're looking for on our next quest so necromancer is still a thing a very rare bounty hunter helmet Oh, that is that is so tempting. It gives us four crests, three busts. Not what we're looking for. Grave robber. A rare. Hmm. A very rare legendary bracer, but it ha that's a long quest. And it's for veterans. You know what? I th I think we're gonna try it. Let's let's give it a shot. I don't know how well this will work, considering our current like setup but I think we can try it so obviously we need our healer here let's check that out our healer can work in the last two positions it looks like so let's make sure Roach is there where does where does our bounty hunter go does she like a particular spot I have her set up to do we might so that way she can lunge to lunge forward and then shadow fade back twice because that's a stun it has a uh, good damn I don't know we'll we'll figure that out in a second I'll we might keep the blight the blight one on but let's see where everything works she can work in the first three spots first two spots for shadow fade that's okay uh, first three spots last two spots so or I'm so to pick to the face is probably not good we might need to we might need to change up her abilities here to fix that so let's let's go ahead and do that real quick come here jer bear so flashing dagger is probably what we want toxin trickery is a buff oh let's not buy that go back to embark highlight that um, let's get a rid get rid of pick to the face and put in flashing daggers so that way we have abilities that work shadow fade will be our way of getting back into position if we're pulled to the front so let's keep that so we have our poison dart which will deal blight uh, flashing daggers which looks like it um, bleeds deals bleed maybe um, Shadow Fade to get us back into position, and Throne Dagger would be our main damage because we'll bring Roach, which has the Mark ability. 
So that's that's a good plan. Uh, Triburn, I went ahead and bought some stuff for him. So we're going to have him in the front. Uh, the only thing he can't do from the front is his hook and slice, which I went ahead and got uppercut for that. We have some stuff that can stun. And we also have Collect Bounty, which has a bonus to marked targets which will come again from Roach so he might make do well as a front linesman and then I'll have to be in the second position because all of my non-transformation abilities are uh, first two position or uh, either first two positions or second two positions so we want him in the second position to fulfill all those uh, the abomination is very strange they have all their abilities unlocked to begin with but part of them are only while in the beast form and they transform and turn into a monster which causes stress to everyone else so that's why you have to be careful using them but we'll go ahead we're gonna we're gonna try and take out the necromancer let's bring lots of torches like a paranoid amount of torches let's bring um a paranoid amount of food probably let's bring two skeleton keys another shovel some bandages Gotta remember, this is a big quest, so let's bring a lot of everything. And holy water. And some medicinal herbs. Okay, so we are stocked up and probably won't need half of this, but better safe than sorry. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? I also went ahead and lowered the overall volume of the game, so I'm hoping that sounds even better than episode 2 onward, because I know episode... These holes. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. So I know episode 2 had an improved amount of uh, audio but I'm hoping this is even better. I kind of wish I equipped I equipped our party before we moved on cuz we definitely need we definitely could have used it. So let's see where do we start at? Is this the entrance? So we just have to find the necromancer and my guess is he's over here because why wouldn't he be at the end of his own dungeon? But I digress. So let us continue onward. I'm Skeptical about having Triburn in the front, so this could uh, this could be interesting. Since we already have lots of torchlight, I'm gonna try putting something else in here. Maybe maybe anti venom. Is that had no effect? What about what about medicinal herbs? Oh, it gave us gold. Okay, cool. So that was uh, that's oh. And that trap I knew was there, but I just I was talking and walking and and not the rule. Now I already I have taken some damage. Let's pop the torch. I would like I'm 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 afraid of the dark. I would rather just have light all the time. Surprised, alright, that's good. So I'm gonna save the abomination to transform because everyone gets plus eight stress. I'm just gonna save that until the boss fight, because I don't honestly think it's even worth it. I'm gonna get some bile, some blight on them, which they also have blight, like they have uh, blight resistance now too. Let's go ahead and mark the heavy, heavy hitting target right now, so that way everyone can deal bonus damage to them. Plus 25 damage against mark targets. Oh, but you can't hit that one. All right, let's go ahead and try and get the arbalist in the back. collect bounty on him 13 damage so yeah he triburn should make for a good front line with that uh, with that much going on stressful incantation that's fine coral that's fine ooh crit that's not fine we'll have to go ahead and heal that already rent for the old gods okay good dodge and now he's in the second position so that's good too because now we can throw a dagger on him, the kill him. Is broken. Good job, Jerbear. And gets uh, plus 10 accuracy for three rounds. That's really good. 
we'll go ahead and wow nice crit even if he gets the bleed yeah that's uh that's great so let's go ahead let's go ahead and get some more bile or some more blight on them Ooh. oh there we go so she gets four damage per round good dodge roach No bleed? Ah, oh, damn. It happens. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and try and uppercut him. Get the stun, knocks him back. That's good. Okay. Wow, 20 stress. I have built up stress very quickly. Let's get the blight. So she's gonna. She should die next turn. No. Oh no, she's not gonna die next turn. Let's see. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Let's go ahead and heal. Resisted the bleed, can't. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. Let's uh, finish him. Yeah, there we go. Give them no quarter. All we got left is the arbalist. Um, I can't get him with any of these abilities, so I'm gonna go ahead and just heal, heal himself, and at lower stress. So that's really good. I can heal and lower stress quickly. Gonna just throw him dagger. Try and get him. And then we'll heal. No bleed? Good. And he's only got one more round of bleed, so he should be okay. Um, this is the only one that can hit the back position. There we go. As the enemy crumbles. Stalwart buckle. Can't use that, so that'll probably be the first thing I drop if I have to drop anything. Unlock strong box. Eight crest all right. Hoping to hope hopefully we find some portraits and the or deeds or whatever it was I needed. Portraits, I think. Any luck? Yeah, I don't think so. So let's just head this way. Let's just gun it for him, because I'd rather have full health or as much health as possible because we can camp right before we get to him. So our fifty gold, that's great. Uh, let's pop a torch. Eighty eight, that's good. And I think most of us have pretty good quirks too. I don't think we have any big problems. Lazy Eye is the biggest for him. Uh, Warren's Phobe does nothing. Lots of abilities for Roach. All these, he's got the yips, so that's minus 5 accuracy. But Hard Noggin, 50% stun, 15% move, 1 speed if he's below 50, um, stronger against Eldrick, and plus 10% blight so he's got a lot of bonus resistances um, obsessed with cleanliness uh, plus 10% stress so that's probably the worst there I've oh, got a message let me uh, close that out I don't want any more beeping there um, irresponsible plus 5 virtue chance so that's pretty good too alright quick fight let's go ahead and beast blight Let's go ahead and give him bleed too. Oh wait, so maybe it doesn't bleed because it doesn't appear to uh, be doing that. Can I kill him? Let's see, 73, five to 10 damage. So if it hits it, we'll kill him. Yeah, there we go. That's good. No stress damage. And I might just focus on healing and uh, healing and stress heal because that's what the absolution does let's see do I want to let's just mark him let's mark the one in the front
because they're going to keep switching spots by doing the rend for the old god. And now we can do bonus damage to him. That's good. And then when Tri burns up again, let's go ahead and mark this guy too. On top of it. Hmm. I could stun this one to get even more damage. Yeah, okay, so Triburn's going to deal a ton of damage to this front row one. Especially since he hasn't acted yet. Yeah, so... Oh, no, because the finish him is only for that. But he'll deal plus 90% because it's marked, and plus 15% because he's human. So let's see. 13 damage, wow. Fun. I'm just going to go ahead and heal, get that health back, get some stress relieved, and go for the Throne Dagger. Ah, I can't go through the Throne Dagger, let's see. I guess Poison Dart. And what do I want to do? Hmm, I guess just Vulnerability Hex again, because it does damage and keeps them marked. And we'll collect bounty again. I like this setup. This setup seems pretty good so far. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be What we got coming up? No battle, no battle room. So, let's just head on in. And we'll keep going forward. Hopefully he's not over here because I'm planning to go all the way this way. All right, this will tell us, I think. Nope, okay. Well, like I said, hopefully he's not up there. Let's just keep going. Surprised, all right. Then I'm just gonna keep focusing on healing that stress and healing that damage. So the only issue is Jerber doesn't have a lot of options if they're in the front line, which can be uh, difficult. Wow, Triburn, hitting hard. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, nothing coming up, so we're just gonna keep moving forward. Keep on trucking. Stashed heirlooms. There's two deeds. Uh oh. Yeah, if we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of the stalwart buckle because I'm sure I could have gotten rid of the medicinal herbs or anti venom or something, but I'd much rather just get rid of something I'm probably not gonna use. It's something that may come up. So we got a battle coming up, a good light. Let's just try it. Okay. Yeah, and they were surprised, good. That's exactly what I want. Um not gonna go for the not gonna go for the stress heal since there's a lot of enemies. Let's get the blight on them. I don't know. Knife in the dark. I don't know what tempting goblet, tempting goblet's range is, so let's just go ahead and abyssal artillery. Ah, oh, they both dodge. That's too bad. Let's try and uppercut this guy. Moves him back. I can throw a dagger. Oh, I should have done it on the courtier. That was stupid not thinking. Tempting goblet's gonna be annoying. His stun wore off. I would say go for the beast bile again. Get some blight if I can.
let's mark, let's mark this one. I'll have to heal Triburn this next turn, next turn, instead of marking. Yeah, a lot of stress is building. Let's go ahead and throw a dagger. Good kill. Let's see. I can uppercut this one, get him out of the way. It's almost worn off on both of them. Yeah, I definitely need to heal as soon as I can. This guy, let's try and stun him. Push him back. Yeah, that's fine. And we can try and stun this one. Now we got two people stunned. Graveyard slash. Okay, good dodge. Let's see. Let's flashing daggers both of these two. There we go. His stun wore off. Let's heal. That was a good heal. And resisted the bleed. Let's uh, heal and... Ooh, good crit. And that crit's on the stress heal too. That's really good. Let's try and blight him. At least get something going. And mark him. Yeah, so we have a lot of trouble with the front targets, is what I'm I'm noticing. But other than that, we should be okay. Because one thing I do know about the Necromancer's Apprentice Remind is that he summons that skeletons, and that pushes and him back in the line. Back. So he won't always be in in the front of the line. Do I have anybody that should... Looks like I came a little over prepared. What does this do? Cleanse. Let's just uh, toss that, take the bus, and sarcophagus. What do we think? Holy water, maybe? Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just open it. Uh oh. Fear of death? Okay, so he gets plus 20 stress damage if HP is below 50%, so that's not good. But we can we can move along. We can just keep on going. Even the cold stone so if we reach it down here and this isn't the Necromancer, we're going to... Before we even get to this, we're going to go ahead and camp. So when we go down here, then we can go all the way back in, for the worst case scenario. Fuck Torch. Is this unknown territory? It is unknown territory, so we are going to keep going. Roach, you have the most health. You open this bag. Oh, do I have to back up? I have to back up. What's in here? Gold. Yes. Alright, so we are full on slots again. Let's go ahead and get rid of the anti-venom. Hopefully we don't need that. <laughs> Looks like I could use some more torches, though for being honest. Oh good, humans. I don't like blanket fire, but humans are a lot easier to kill for this group of people than other ones. Let's actually pull him to the front. Because I don't think he can do anything. A rush shot, but rush shot has a high miss chance, so that is okay. Okay, so that's just a... Oh, that lowers their bleed resistance, so that's what the point of... that. That's why you would do that. Okay, I understand now. Resistant both. And... Bonus damage, there we go. Got rid of the Fusilier. And he's all the way in the back, so he can use Punishment still. But I guess that only hits one person. Which I'm okay with. Actually, I should probably be killing this guy, but... And then from here on, we'll 
use Absolution. Because I, I wanted the Blight on them. I'm gonna mark this one, and then we'll start healing from there, too. Because Triburn could use the heals. Let's see. Bonus damage to this guy. Can't kill, but it'll deal a good chunk. More than half his health. That's putting him in a bad spot, but we can switch this around. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the heal on him. No bleed. Ah, damn. How close is he? He's only going to take two bleed damage. Let's just go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Good crit, good crit. And I need to switch them back. Let's go ahead and collect bounty. Wow! 31 damage, that's amazing. What do we got? Get a torch, get some bus, get some gold. So let's go ahead and put this nice little item on me already. I lose out on max HP, but I get bonus damage and plus three speed, so that should be okay. I'd like to give this to Connect's kid, but the minus eight, or no, that's plus. Minus five percent max health, and it's common. I don't really know if it's worth throwing away some of our other stuff, so let's just close. Heirloom chest, let's use one of our skeleton keys. More bust and a portrait. So we are out of, we are out of room. Let's, uh, you're going to eat f the two food that we have. Now I need room for that. Do I want to throw away the bandage? Well, let's use a bandage first off. I guess let's throw away that bandage and then take the portrait. Now we're moving to the last room before I'm going to decide to camp. Oh no, we got surprised. That's too bad. Luckily, we have our strategy for getting surprised. So let's go ahead and do the bile. Get the blight going. That's good. Yeah, coral. And then we're going to go ahead and shadow fade backwards. Let's shadow fade on this guy. Ah, he resisted the stun. Vulnerability Hex this one. Nine damage, that's pretty good. That's gonna push her back. Oh, nope, not if she dodges it, that's fine. And then, yeah, let's get Absolution going. You can shadow fade back one more. And he's stunned, that's good. Let's go ahead and heal. That was a good heal. Even if we got the bleed, that was a good heal. Bump of the night misses, that's fine. That's what we want. Coral, five damage, that's a significant. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Kill him. <laughs> now we just got the weaker targets to deal with. Uh, this will kill if it hits. Yeah. Now we got left is the Arbalist with 11 health. Let's go ahead and continue lowering that stress and healing up. Let's try and heal Triburn. That was a good heal. Resisted the bleed too. The coral doesn't do too much damage, and I'm not too worried about it, so healing is a good priority. Plus, he's low enough now that we don't have to worry too much about any of his abilities. 
Uh, yeah, let's just finish him off. Because her bleed is only one damage. I've got an extra skeleton key. But a victory nonetheless. Jade is 250 gold. What is citrine? 250 gold as well. Still got some holy water. Still got two shovels. Yeah, over prepared by a lot. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and drop it. I don't care. Let's see who got the ability. Thanatophobia. So I'd rather try burn go into this. Bring holy water. That's good because he did have a high amount of stress. Uh, roaches in second place, or now in first place for the highest amount. Let's go ahead and switch us back in the correct order. I don't think the Necromancer can be in this room. I think he's in the last room of the hallway, but uh, hopefully he's not in here. If he is, then we might be in trouble. He's not. Let's camp. Let us get a camp and get ready for this battle. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Okay, I'd like some comp, like some combat buffs. That will be good. Plan takedown because the Necromancer's Apprentice, I think, counts as two spots. So let's go ahead and do that. Psych up increases his damage by a good chunk. But increases the stress by 20. So that'll put him at 48. We don't really need stress reduction right now. Honestly. Move target disease. Plus 30% scouting chance. Not necessary. Reduce stress. Increase stress. So that would increase his stress. But increase someone else's damage by 20%. So... That might be something to look at. Let's go ahead and psych him up. Get some damage. Can we lower someone's stress? Yeah, so... Wait, hold on. Pep talk reduces stress damage. The only one who can just lower stress would be him, which he can't use on himself. So let's go ahead and increase her strength and get that bonus stress. So everyone has a good chunk of damage increase except for Roach, which Roach is the support anyways. And I guess we will go ahead and give him a, a buff as well, so that way he won't take any... like. He'll take less stress damage. And we'll rest. Hopefully we're not ambushed. That is a possibility. But everyone's got a good chunk of increased damage. Roach has minus 15% damage. This lasts for four combats too, so... Even if we encounter combat on the way there, we'll hit the Necromancer. As long as, long as he's the uh, next person to encounter the way is lit. in this room. The path is clear. So let's go. Only the strength to we pull. also weren't attacked in the night, so that's good too. A trap. Okay, that didn't do any, any damage, so that's good. Good dodge. I'll open it. More food. That's fine. We've got some more citrine and gold. We have an open spot now because the camp, uh, the firewood's gone. As the light gains purchase. I'm hoping this is the necromancer. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, mini boss fight. And you know what? I'm gonna go for the transform right now. It's a boss fight. Yeah, so there's the stress across the board. Um, let's see. Self plus 15% damage from skill rake. Slam. Okay, so this one's probably the one we want. Seven damage. That's decent. And he gets a buff. So he, he's probably gonna keep buffing himself from that. Oh shoot, uh, Roach and Jerbear are out of position. Okay, that's good. Let's mark him straight away. And I need you to be... How's his Blight resistance? 
Uh, no. Let's just, let's just push back. Get back now. That's a stress attack. Eek. That's... <laughs> Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Does he count as human? No, he's Eldritch. Okay, well... Andy's got 105 health, holy crap. Like, I had a basic idea of how much damage he was, or how, like, big he was, but still. Flesh is willing. Okay, that's just damage. That pushes him back. Okay, so he every attack seems to summon more. Shocking. I know. What's that do? Rage, increase. Let's go ahead and rake. Get, try and kill these guys, so my, my abomination will be the like, front row clear. That's what we'll try and do. Let's get some blight on him. He's still marked. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want to, like, start healing already, or if I want to pull him. Can I pull him? What's his move resist? He's only got 25. Let's try and pull him. Ooh, and a crit. Alright. So that cleared the corpse, too. That's good. And then let's go ahead and do this. 17 damage. God. This is good. I like this. This is a good, like, offensive team. Cleared the corpse. We clear corpses fast. We're dealing tons of damage to him. I kind of want to just keep trying to blight him. See if I can get even more blight damage going. Because now he's taking six damage for three rounds. Which is probably... Oh, okay, so my resolve is being tested. Abusive. So I think, if I looked it up correctly, there's... Oh no, that's a... Uh, that's not good. Um, I looked it up, and if I'm correct, I think there's only one positive resolve, which is courageous. And if that's the case, then that's not good. Wait, does Toxin Trickery move back? No, it doesn't. Okay. So let's go ahead and get... What, what pushed him to the front? Nothing. Okay. Let's move him back now. Oh wait, was he always in the third? I don't remember now. I'm so confused. Oh, the mark target's gone. I should Damn it. Oh well. Let's just keep chunking him down. More blight. More blight, please. Yes. So that's nine points of damage per round for him. At the very least, he'll die in three turns. That's something... That's something to look forward to. I wonder, does that mean my Abomination can't transform anymore? That's too bad. What's his stun resist look like? 75% let's just... Let's pull him to the front again. Nope, he missed. Okay. How you pretended to be mighty. Yeah, you can only use it once for battle, but I didn't know he changed. He, he turned back when he was uh, stressed out, so that's pretty cool. Or, not cool for me, but interesting. Let's go ahead and Blight. Blight is always good damage. And let's try and pull him to the front, because that'll help reposition everything. I should have marked him. I didn't think about that. It's okay, we're dealing such a good amount of damage to him, it's not even a big deal. Blight's very strong. Okay, I can mark him now. Triburn should be able to deal enough damage to bring him. Yep, Triburn should be able to kill him now. And... Roach has his resolve tested, that's fine. Let's see. Fearful. At this point, it's not a big deal because he's so close. He's only got six left. Um, yeah, he'll die no matter what from the bite, so let's try and stun him. 
no go. Yeah, we are we were well prepared for this battle. Cherry's pretty close to getting his resolve tested. Dryburn's been trucking along. He is He's just doing very good. Let's see. 85% chance to hit, it will kill. Let's do it. No! <laughs> I believed in you, Triver. You let me down. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to toss the stagger. Thank you, Jerbear. So, all we gotta do is clear the corpses now. Or, not the corpses, the, uh. These guys. Let's go ahead and uppercut you. Stun, alright. The creatures are death sending, formed of murder. Uh, Jair Bear's resolve is now tested. Irrational. Reeling. There's a woman in my coat. Take him over the out, head. out, you vagabond. Oh, wonderful. Everyone, everything is going so great. It'd be shitty if we, uh, if we beat the necromancer and then die to the his skeletons left behind. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's try and get a stun. Yay! He's dead from the blight. He's gonna move up. So all we have to worry about is this one. Which we can keep, like, stun one, then stun the other. Until they're dead. Keep away from me. I cannot control it. Yeah, I guess we have to throw it at this one. Good crit. Alright. Stun? Yep. No. He's still marked. And Triburn is going to collect bounty on him and finish it off. Or finish him. Plus 25% damage. Plus 15% damage. Which one does more damage? 6 to 11. This one does 8 to 16. Okay, that one. Alright, alright. <clears throat> oh, my voice cracked there. Alright, so, I mean, the food's unnecessary. We are done with the food. Move stone. So that's another increase. That's what we already got here. Let's actually put that on Roach because he has a move ability too. We don't need the bandage. I mean, we're, yeah, we're done with the mission, so we're just going to go back to the hand. All right, that was great. I loved, that was well done, very well done. I mean, everyone had to get their resolve test except for Triburn, but that's such a minor thing compared to uh, the other stuff. We only got one portrait out of it though. That's what I'm upset about because we needed two, only two more. All right, I got something. Warrior of Light. Plus 10% damage if Torch is above 75. Well, that's good, because I like having the Torch high. So, I guess that works out for us. Let's go ahead and return to town. Return to our little hamlet. You answered the letter. Now, so we, like me, go. you are a part of this place. So, we uh, defeated the Apprentice Necromancer. That was one of our quest goal checklist things. Um, let's check in on everyone. Uh, Reynald uh, got rid of God-fearing in the sanitarium, so that's good. El Cyanide used meditation to achieve resistance to the force of the material world. New, new quirk balanced, and she removed her stress. Swinney blacked out and misplaced a trinket, calming crystal. Great, you mis he misplaced one of my trinkets. Um, but he added night on the town and recovered 56 stress and is no longer hopeless, which was his uh, resolve testing thing. Uh, we doesn't know when to uh, doesn't know when to bet and when to fold. Do work, bad gambler. Increased chance of losing money while gambling. Uh, we gambled and recovered 69 stress. And Connects Kid engaged the pleasures of the flesh and recovered 81 stress. 
All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and divvy out these guys off camera, and we will get to visit out the guild and all that stuff. So we're still missing two portraits. Or, yeah, two portraits. So that'll be our next quest goal to get through, but I, uh, I'll figure out what to do about that. So... As I was saying, thank you all so much for watching. If you like it, please let us know, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.